Very confident. Then let's go. Your call. Heads. Bad luck. Just a minute. Let me see that coin. What are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting. No, no. Keep it. A little memento of the day you came second. We bat. <laughs> Off you go then, lads. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy. How's it looking, Kev? Not good. Mm. Just knock the shine off it and I'll do the rest, okay? I've been admiring your bracelet. Do you like it? Mm, it's so pretty. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I made it. You didn't. You couldn't have. Why couldn't I? You made it. One of my evening classes I went to last year. Oh, that really is. It's lovely. <laughs> it's yours. Thank you very much. Bad luck, Arnold, old son. Bad luck. Roger. Good old Alex. He won't let me down. I'm sure he won't, Roger. And, um, have you mentioned that other business to them yet? Who? The team, Roger. What other business? You know perfectly well what other business, Roger. Dorking. D-O-R-K-I-N-G. And your goings on there. I would not have them laughing at me behind my back. All right, Roger? Look what Maggie gave me. Super. Good shot, Alex! Well played! Roger thought it was lovely. Oh, I'll make one for him if you like. <laughs> That's Alex off the mark. Whoa. That's what I like to see. Two lovely ladies, hard at it. Oh, Dennis, you are a one. <laughs> oh, Dennis, Shirley phoned. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Shirley? What's she flapping about this time? She just wanted to know how you were. Oh, one minute she's trying to poison me, the next she's phoning up to ask how I'm feeling. What I like about my wife, dear old thing that she is, the almost unbearable excitement of her unpredictability. That's more like it. Great shot, Bernard! Kev, I mean, he's feeling a bit, um, you know, about that uh, other business. What other business? Well, you know, that, um, that, that other business. Oh, that other business. Well, as I say, she's feeling a bit, you know, doesn't want anyone getting the wrong idea, so if you could, um, you know, OK. Pass it on. <laughs> uh, message from Rog. Miriam's doing a bit of business, feeling out the, you know, that she doesn't want uh, people to get the wrong idea. So if you could, uh, you know, OK? Pass it on. Right. 
What? Right. What next? No, that's all right. I can manage now. Thanks, Maggie. Are you sure? Yes, really. You go and be with Kevin. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Why? <laughs> Give us a shout if you need anything, OK? OK. Yes! Keep up! Four to Alex! Put it up, score up! You know how these solicitors like things in writing. Well, don't they? Don't they just? A message from Roger. Miriam's thinking of starting up a small business, and she's feeling around for ideas. So if you could, you know, pass it on, OK? <laughs> You're very naughty. Given the chance, my sweet, given the chance. What do you want? I've got work to do. What do I want, my lovely? Uh, oh, just the chance to whisper sweet nothings into that even sweeter little ear. Yes, well, while we're on about that sort of thing, has Roger spoken to you yet? vis a -vis what? Vis-a-vis -vis those ridiculous rumours about Roger and, um, you know who, at Dorking. Well, it's all been resolved, Dennis. It was all a terrible misunderstanding. So there's nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about at all. So there's no need for any silly gossip, is there? Hmm? Excuse me a minute, will you, my lovely? Yes! Well done! Well done, Bernard. Bad luck. Off you go then, Bob. Nice and easy, old son. Nice and easy. Now then, who's in next? Kevin! Not me, Skip. That was, but, um, we decided I was going to go in at number nine. Watch me finger. Oh, that's right. So we did. Who's in next? Nippy. Who? The South African. Oh, he is. Not as nippy as the Aussie, though. Thunderbolts he's chucking down. You're in next, aren't you? We're given a chance. I'll be out there now. Of course. Getting at him. But for unfortunate medical reasons, I can't go into number 11. Number what? 11. Are yeah, you going number 10? I'm going at number 11. Well, I thought I was number 10. Uh, excuse me, Skip. A uh, message from Roger. Uh, Miriam thinks that if she starts up a small business, someone might pinch her ideas. So, if you could, you know, pass it on. OK. <coughs> Hello, Kevin. Look what Maggie gave me. Wasn't that sweet of her? Yeah, well, that's Mag. <laughs> you don't know where she is, do you? Well, I thought she was with you. I thought you were number nine. No, number ten. Well, wait a minute, you're number 11. No, 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 that, that's me, I'm number 11. Oh, so that's you at 11 and Dennis at number 10. Oh, I thought I was number 10. No, 7. 7? All right, 8. No, come on, come on! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? He's done it again. It was deliberate. You know that, don't you? Absolutely deliberate. Yes. Off you go then, Ram Jam. Just sometimes. 
you know. Yeah. I know. Got a contra, Toms. What? What exactly are you saying? I'm saying that your bowler is using his hair grease to shine this ball. It's not hair grease. Well, what is it then? It's gel. Well, whatever it is, it's causing unnatural movement off the scene. Either you change the ball or you change the bowler. Right, Alex? You get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Afternoon, lads. We've got a lovely day for it. <clears throat> Middle. Keep this scoreboard going. I must know the exact state of play. Don't matter about the state of play. Look at the state of them trousers. Come in. Oh, yes, yes. Two. Uh, well played, um, uh, Warren. Bad luck. Right, who's in next? It's uh, Kevin. Kev ah, yeah, right. Off you go then, Kev. Oh, and Kev, Kev. No pressure, old son, but we do need a lot more runs on the ball, so it is up to you. And, um. Do you mind? Oh. Dennis. Where's Dennis? Yes. Yeah! It's my little Kevin, that is. Don't you love him? Don't you just love him? I love you, Kevin Costello! <laughs> I'm not actually sure this is such a good idea, Skipper. Look, you just fend him off and leave the rest to Kevin. I need all the runs I can get. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? This is my number 11. I mean, what are you doing here? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm his runner. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? No runner. He's broken his leg. Oh. Did he break it during the course of this game? Well, of course he didn't. Oh. Did you select him, knowing him to be in that condition? <laughs> that is not the point. Did you or did you not select him, knowing him to be in that condition? Yes. Then, no runner. There we are. Now, 
wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Mrs. Dervish, uh, may I call you Miriam? Oh, Miriam, please. Might I say, Miriam, that uh, one of the reasons we enjoy this picture so much is the taking of your delightful teas. Oh, oh well, it's good. Oh, tea. thank you. <laughs> One does try to maintain a certain standard, even if... In fact, I'd go so far as to say that the taking of your teas is the only reason we enjoy this fixture. Right, lads? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm really depressed. What about? My finger. It's really sore. Ah, oh, poor little soldier. Definitely gonna have to put a plaster on it. And if I do, they're not gonna let me bowl. I don't see the point of me being here. I am, Meg. I'm really depressed. Do you want a cuddle? I don't care, really. Come here. Let me give you a cuddle. <laughs> no, that's all right. I can manage. Thank you so much. What was he saying to you? Who? Thinking. What's it? They're so cool, Captain. He was paying me a compliment, Roger. Compliment? What about? My teas, Roger. What else? Talk to them. That's fine. But no fraternisation. All right, Mim? OK. Fair enough. This is war. Hmm. No, of course I'm not angry with you. It's just that, well, it's difficult if you, you know, keep phoning me all the time. <laughs> Of course I don't really like that. You know I don't. You know I love you. I just said it. I love you. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? What do you mean, obvious? Well, couldn't you find something a bit more skin-coloured? A bit more sort of... Hmm, greyish? Oh, thanks a lot, Rog. The thing is, to let them see it. So don't go waving it around. Keep it under wraps. I may need it. All right, Kev? Great. him for two days and for a week I didn't fold his pajamas but apart from that I mean what do you say when your husband admits to adultery oh, I was so angry so hurt I keep telling myself if he hadn't told me if I hadn't pushed him into telling me I would never have known it wasn't as if he was behaving any differently towards me but he did it, didn't he? He still betrayed me. And you see, I know I'm old-fashioned. But for me, sex is special. It's between two people who are very close to each other and people who say words of love and commitment that's only for them to hear. And for him to do that with someone else, that's such a betrayal. You love him. Although I often ask myself why. <laughs> All I know is that whatever it is I want in life, I just can't imagine him not being a part of it. He's my Rog. Perhaps that says more about me than it does about him. <laughs> anyway, I can't imagine him swapping me for another woman. Season ticket to Lords, perhaps, but not another woman. <laughs> Go and 
get it then. Another disaster on our hands. Kiff. It's up to you, Kiff. Remember what you did last year. Got my last chance. And if I had to stake my life on someone. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. But what if they know it's my finger? Deny everything. All right, Kiff? All right, Elsa. Play Sheffield. Round jam. Short cover. And it's knowing that they all know. Thinking they all know. It's so humiliating. <laughs> Hello. My little kid's going to turn his arm over. That should cheer him up a bit. Umpire, this man is wearing an artificial aid. What are you on about? This man is wearing a plaster on his spinning finger. No, but he's not his spinning finger, is he, Kev? No. Well, what is it, then? It's my adjacent finger. <laughs> it's his spinning finger. I recognise it from last year. I've changed it. I'm using another one. Umpire, this man has deliberately affected a plaster in order to give the ball more tweak. No, he hasn't. It was an accident. What do you mean, an accident? Well, if you must know, she sat on it when I was lugging her rotten slabs. Let me look at that finger. Oh, that's my prize spinner, your man. No, no, no. He's only little. You leave him alone, you big bully. Maggie, I really don't think you should. Hello, Shirley. How nice to see you. Hello, Miriam. Sorry to butt in, but I, I wonder if you wouldn't mind giving this to Dennis for me. It's for his tummy, his upset tummy. Yes, of course I will, but wouldn't you like to stay and give it to him yourself? <sighs> yes, I, I, I would, but I, I shouldn't be here, really. I've got so much, you know, to do, but I thought, while I'm out, I'll just pop into the chemist, and anyway, he, he doesn't really like me interfering when he's playing his cricket. He's, he's very insistent on that. <laughs> well, they take it so seriously, don't they? You leave him alone! He's already injured! Yeah, yeah. Ever, ever, like, I'm taking yeah. this to law! Yeah, You'll be Make ashamed of yourself! Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Skipper, uh, I've got your message. And I must say, I agree that the idea of someone trying to pinch Miriam is a nasty business. I mean, let's face it, she's a married woman. I haven't uh, noticed anyone tilt his hat at her, but if I do, you'll be the first to know. Hmm? Now, come on, chaps. What's it all about? Miriam! 